Hi guys, Rhonda without an H here with you again. Okay, so I am doing kind of a part two to my old piano player paper. In uh, the first video, I showed you how I put my paper together and I showed you how I do an envelope, a, a couple of examples. And I wanted to continue to play with that just a little bit. Um, and I wanted to show you a couple of other things that you can do. Now, part of this is decorating and making envelopes with the paper. And part of this is um, showing you what you can do with the papers uh, from a digital download. I decided to go ahead and do that and by the time this uh, video airs the uh, digital will be in my Etsy store. Um, so, 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 okay let me separate these. These are originals, okay, and there again in the first video I showed you um, I didn't have this decorated, but, you know, you, you kind of do get a nice crinkle depending especially on what you're doing with it and how your envelope opens, etc. And all of these papers are originals. They're, oh my goodness, there's so many things you can do to decorate these babies and make them beautiful. So I have, as you can see, I have a stack that I am still working on that I will be stitching up and decorating or not. Um, and here, these have been finished, all the stitching around, and I'm just waiting, you know, to decorate or to leave them plain. I'm not sure. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, they, I'm just having a good time, and I hope those of you that have piano paper do this and just play. Just play. Have a great time. Okay, so I want to set these aside. This was a decorated original. Got them in a couple of stacks. They're just all over the place here. These are from the white. You know, I didn't uh, coffee dye any of this. And of course, if you want a lighter shade, tea dyeing would be a nice option. Um, I did not copy or, or scan my um, plain, well I did, but I'm not putting that in my Etsy store, at least not at this point. And I'll tell you why, because this is what it looks like. It's pretty, you know, it's really hard to see the lines um, in the piano paper. I mean, if, if you're looking at this really closely, this didn't scan really well to where you can get that definitive image. It's too close to the other colors. And so... I still will use these. I mean, they're fabulous. I will decorate them. I may, you know, I might dye some of them. I don't know. But I just wasn't, you know, real pleased with the outcome. So I did not put those in. But I want to share with you what I did do. I have four different images. Um... And these I've just been having a, a, a fun time with. And you can tell because of the white that this is, you know, an image. And this is amazing paper. This is 28 pound, you know, matte, uh, premium matte. And uh, so it's, you know, I just want to, it's got that smooth and I just want to touch it and love it. But uh, look at what you can do, you guys. 
Actually, this is original. But look, with some of your scraps, remember I said you can do some, you know, you can do all kinds of things. And here, obviously, is a little notebook. I have, I guess I can slide this off, maybe. It's just really simple. I haven't really done anything to it. I've just put little papers in it, but it's a great little notebook. You know, yay! <laughs> and then I'll retie that a little bit later. But let's start with here's one of the sheets that I just I made into just one envelope, the paper, and I I absolutely love this. I have layered my laces. If you don't have a sewing machine, you just glue around your edges carefully. And you would just glue here and here if you have washi tapes. It's fun to add some other embellishments. These are just simple ideas, you know, just giving you some ideas. Um, here's another one that was uh, printed on a different paper. So different papers, different printers, all of that's going to give you different um, variations of color. That's you know, the, I have no control over that. That's just kind of, it depends on your printer, what it does. But look at this, how sweet and simple this is. I love this. And this paper kind of had, it came out with just a little bit of a pink tinge. And so I added this little bit of handkerchief lace. Just super sweet. And then put another little trim and stitched that on. And just stitched up the side. Now these... One thing that I did like about using the copies of my digitals rather than the digital, I'm, <laughs> excuse me, rather than my original images, is the paper that I used was sturdy enough that I didn't feel like I needed to use the punch and make the hole like I did in these. Not that... I mean, this was fine, but just something different. And I left just a little bit more between the fold so that you still have, you know, you can pull it out, whatever you put in there. Okay, so there's that one. Here's another one. There again with the the copy. And I really kind of like, I, I'm, I'm kind of loving the contrast. Now, if that's not what you're going for, then you, you might not like that. But I do. And I did learn, you guys, how you read these piano rolls. You read from the bottom up. So this one is, how would you, st I don't know, stand something. I was trying to read down, and the words were not making sense. And so I was reading my, I was reading my piano paper as I'm playing with it. To take your hand. <laughs> okay. And another one. Just this one I curved just a little bit. And just one little piece of lace. You could use doily lace. You could use washi tape. You could use a little strip of fabric. You could use an embellishment of some music paper. Just a little strip of paper there. It you know, whatever. Just let your imagination run wild. Now, this is a favorite. I've Obviously, for those of you that know me and follow me, you know I love pink. I love pinks and purples. Oh my gosh, yes I do. And I have combined here laces, uh, fiber, and washi tape. And I, I'm, I'm loving it. So this one I have one layer that I did underneath my uh, flap and then I added a smaller one on top of the flap and I just put them down I you know with just a little bit of stick glue just to kind of secure them a little bit some kind of glue not a whole lot because I'm stitching but if you're gluing, then of course, you know, you take that into account and, and do what you need to do. And then, and then I added some washi tape 
and another tiny little washi tape to kind of finish that off. It's got a glimmer to it. And I added, I found this on Amazon. <gasps> this is fabulous. Oh, oh, I love it so much. It's, oh, it's a combination. Let's see, it's mohair, acrylic mohair, something like that. Anyway, it's got, it's just tiny and perfect and yummy. And I crocheted just a chain stitch. I don't know if you can see that, but just a chain stitch. And then I just glued that down. And I, I love it. This is beautiful. Okay, and then the last thing I was going to show you, at least for today, um is just an embellishment with, you know, a paper clip. This is washi tape. This is piano paper. And I have created a, a paper clip. And this is one of my... I did a video uh, back, I don't know exactly, a ways, anyway, where I did these, uh, you know, fun embellishments. And I take, this is a piece of washi tape, and I put that on a book page. And then I go around it, and I stamp. And anyway, so I just layered that. This is, this is actually glassine, and this is a little bit of a handkerchief. And a little bit of cheesecloth that has been dyed. Just, just some sweet, simple... It's not hard. It takes just a, a teeny bit of time, but it just it just dresses it up. I mean, this is just really sweet. Just that. Now, what you can do with this as well, I thought, ah, aha. If you don't stitch it, you can leave it as a journaling um, spot, which is always a fun thing. We're always looking for fun journaling papers to put in. And this is, I love this. So, and still you're not content with something about... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you what you can do. Um, wow. These are fabulous. I didn't think I was going to have, quite frankly, as much fun working with the copies of my digitals as with my original papers, but I did, which was like, okay. So anyway, guys, that's, that's it for today. Just kind of wanted to share with you, um, and I... I one other thing, I just want to explain to those of you that might be wondering, why do I always open my uh, videos with, Hi, Rhonda without an H here. Well, I'll tell you, since I was a little girl in kindergarten, people have been trying to spell my name as R-H-O-N-D-A. And you know when you're young, that's really important to have your name spelled correctly. And I can remember teachers arguing with me that my name wasn't spelled R-O-N-D-A. It was R-H-O-N-D-A that I was making a mistake. Um, but it's spelled that way. I have had my whole life, and I'm in my 60s now, I've had legal documents, I've had... I've had driver's licenses, I've had home mortgages, I've had tax, I mean, I've had uh, most anything you can think of misspelled, and, uh, and and I got used to it. It's like, okay, fine, it's, it, and it, you know, um, even the computers, when you hit Rhonda, they just, they want to make it with an H. But I was named after my dad, whose name was Ronald. And so, for me, the spelling of Rhonda made perfect sense. I, I never understood why they put that H like Rhonda. 
what's with that? So I got to where when I would call on the phone, make appointments or whatever, and anywhere where they ask you your name and you say Rhonda, I'd say Rhonda Winstead, and then I would say, and that's Rhonda without an H. Oh, I was just going to write the H. Yes, I know. <laughs> so after years and years of that, that's why I do the Rhonda without an H. Just for those of you that are kind of curious or wondering about that. All right, guys, I appreciate your support. And if you haven't subscribed, oh my goodness, I'd sure love to have you subscribe. And like the videos if you like them. I've got a lot that... Um, just some fun. I do a variety of different things. Uh, you never know. I never know when I'm going to be able to get back on here because I really do have a lot of commitments in a lot of different areas, but I love to be here. All right. Until next time, have a fabulous day. Bye now.